آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ If your starting point is that, that, that the intensity of the feelings yeah. of those affected, then that almost are invites... A consider- are a consideration, I think, and a consideration rather than, than a complete sort of joker that, that, that is played. But, it is, a, but it, is an, it is an ace, isn't it? In, in a, a rather nasty ace if people say, I feel so strongly about that, if you say it or broadcast it, I will kill you. Well, clearly, it's. Uh, it, I mean, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a very noticeable move in the game. I mean, without, without question, you know, I. I. I complain in as strong as possible terms. Is different from I complain in as strong as possible terms, and I'm loading my AK-47 as, as I write. Those are. This definitely raises the stakes. Um, but I think there's two or three thing, things going on. So manifestly, uh, 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 solicitation or a threat to murder, which, by the way, is, is quite rightly a crime. It's a crime. Uh, uh, massively raises the stakes. And what, if I may just interrupt for a moment, what other areas in your experience, your great experience as a broadcaster, have you experienced threats of, of violence, threats to murder? Well, the, uh, the coverage of Israel-Palestine um, and one or two other uh, conflicts in the world um, uh, can lead to, to, and have in my case, led to threats of violence, yeah. Uh, in other words, editorial decision-making where uh, someone's um, come to believe that you are um, uh, not doing it fairly, or maybe likely not to do it fairly. Uh, uh, I've been threatened once, twice in, in, in my career about one or two major conflicts, uh, which have some of the same features: um, a sense of victimhood, uh, 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 a sense of uh, conspiracy. Um, you know, conspiracists who believe everyone else is conspiracists and so forth, uh, 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 um, and a sense of um, that the desperation of the circumstance means that um, the normal rules don't apply. Um, but, but I also want to say, though, the thing about religion, and, and the, the, I think it's very different um, to talk about Christianity in the United Kingdom, a very broadly, literally established, but also metaphorically established part of our kind of cultural built landscape, um, a religion which is actually, for all sorts of reasons, in many ways, a lot of our thinking about human rights comes out of the Christian tradition. Um, uh, I would arguably broad-shouldered uh, religion, compared to re- re- religions which um, have a very, in the, in the UK, have a very close identity with ethnic minorities, uh, where, you know, it's not as if, as it were, Islam is randomly spread across the UK population. It's almost entirely uh, a religion practiced by people who may already feel, in other ways, isolated, uh, prejudiced against, and, and where they may well regard an attack on their religion as racism by other means. And, and although it would be nice for the argument to elegantly separate religion out and say, no, religion is it's about propositions about, about belief and uh, uh, it's got a different category, again, at a kind of ontical level, it's completely bound up with identity and a particular racial identity. And the idea that you might want to not just for Muslims, but for Sikhs, uh, Hindus, for Jews. Uh, a Jew, Jews will be an interesting example here, I think. Um, to think quite carefully about whether something done, in quotes, in the name of freedom of expression, might, to the, to the, uh, 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 to the Jew or the Sikh or the Hindu or the Muslim who receives it, feel threatening, isolating, uh, and so forth. I think those are, are, those are meaningful considerations. They make the argument much more complicated, but that's, how, in, my, in my experience, how it plays out.